Today I thought I would go over spectator mode. So I'm gonna make other things the subject of my camera, things that I click on. How am I gonna do that? I created the banana of remote sight. And I'm gonna hit play, we'll do a little demo. I got John Wick down there killing zombies. It has nothing to do with the spectator mode, but it's John Wick, so it's cool. Let's go ahead and view through John Wick. He's gonna kill a zombie. Yeah, there we go. So I'm way up here. I can still run around, right? But I'm viewing, I'm viewing the game through John Wick. Oh, look at that, he let that zombie go. Cool, oh, and I died, how'd that happen? I gotta get my banana again. Let me view through the rig. I can view through this part. Well, the part becomes a subject, and then I can do spectator mode through that part. That's pretty cool, yeah. All right, I think we showed enough of John Wick and enough of the banana of remote sight. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I got an empty world right here, empty base plate, nothing in it because I'm experimenting. So don't experiment on your production game. Every now and then I get a comment. Bro, you ruined my you ruined my production game. I was like, dude, you shouldn't have been experimenting on your production game. So let's go ahead and get into our workspace and we will add a tool, right? Hit the plus tool. There we go. And let's call this, I don't know, like banana of spectator mode or something. Banana of, I think I had remote site. Remote site. Cool. We need a banana. So let's go to our toolbox and I'll just go under meshes, right? Where's meshes? There it is. And we'll do a banana. Grab a banana. There's a banana model. That's pretty big. We're going to have to shrink that thing down. That's a different one that I did in the demo. I'm going to call this uh, fruit. It'll be the fruit part. The fruit part is going to go inside the banana of remote site tool. And I'm going to make that smaller. So let's go to our scale and take a look at the size, right? So that's like eight studs this way. We need it to be like two studs that way, or maybe one and a half. So I'm going to hold down the shift so that the part shrinks proportionally. It maintains an aspect ratio. And then I'll bring this thing down to about, I don't know, 1.5 is pretty good. We need to make it like yellow because it's a banana. Cool. And let's check to see where the front of the banana and the top of the banana is. So the fruit part, right click. Now we're going to go to show indication or sorry, show orientation indicator. That's it. So this is the front and up is the way you would assume. But what I want to do is I want to hold it like that, maybe like that. So I'm going to put a handle in here, make that invisible. That's going to be the part that I hold, not the banana. So let's grab a part. Cool. That's going to be the handle. We could drag it into our banana of remote site. And we'll call this handle. Let's make it smaller. We're going to make it invisible so it doesn't matter if it if it sticks out of the banana, right? Let's do like 0.5 by point by 0.5 comma 0.5 comma 0.5. Cool. Let's line it like right up in the center. So we'll get the fruit, and now we'll get the position of the fruit under the C-frame, go to the handle, position, boom. And I have my collisions off, otherwise it would have popped up on top. So just try it again if you forgot to turn collisions off. Let's move this so that it makes like a kind of a good handle position. Let's check to see what the orientation of this part is. We're going to right click. Show orientation indicator. All right, so this is the front. Let's go ahead and rotate that. Yeah, that'll work. And then up is in the position that I want. I think I might move this back slightly. That'll be, that, that's good. That's good like that. Let's make that handle invisible so it doesn't mess up our, um, our banana. Let's go to transparency on the handle, make that a one. And then I'm going to get a weld constraint. 
So on the handle or on the fruit, you can do it on either. Maybe we'll do it on the fruit. Hit the plus. Add a W or hit W here so you get your weld constraint. Hit weld constraint. Go down to part zero. Click on fruit. Go to part one. Click on the handle. And now let's see if we can pick that thing up. There we go. There's our banana. Yeah, not bad. That's pretty good. And then you could add a little image in there, right, on the tool. All right, let's do some coding now. So we'll turn the game off. We're going to go to Banana of Remote Site. Hit the plus. I'm going to add a local script because we're going to be using our camera. So we don't need a server script. We want a local script. Let's call this site. Let's get rid of our print statement. And we'll do a variable for the tool. Script.parent is the tool. Let's get a variable for our player, but we will initialize it to nil. And I'm also going to make one for the character. And for the humanoid, all nil, till, till someone picks it up. And, ooh, mouse. Let's do the mouse. Mouse will be on the player, but we'll make that nil for now. What else? Uh... The connection for the activate, right? You pick up a tool and then you have your activate when you click on stuff. Activated, I'll call it activated. Activated C O O N for connection. I'm gonna get a helper function, say local function. This is gonna be view in spec. So view in spectator mode. That's the thing we're gonna use as the subject. Or if it's a player, We'll hopefully get the humanoid that makes a better subject when the humanoid's moving. So we'll say local hum equals thing dot parent. We'll do a find first child humanoid. Now, if you click on an accessory, you're not going to find the humanoid. If you're worried about accessories, my video headshot bonus has a very simple way of dealing with accessories. And then I also did a different approach with ray casting on my pistol with ray casting. So two different ways of dealing with accessories, but this won't really be that big of a deal. So if we can get the humanoid, that would be better because the camera is going to view it a little bit uh, more naturally. Let's get our camera. So if we have the humanoid and then we'll make the camera subject equal to the hum. But if we can't find a humanoid, whatever we clicked on, we'll make the camera dot camera subject equal to the thing. And I did something that's kind of bad practice. I made a local humanoid variable, but we have one that's local to the script. So just to keep confusion to a minimum, let's call this shum for s hum or uh, subject humanoid, right? And that way we won't get that confused. Shum. Perfect. All right, how do we call this? View in spec. Well, we're going to need the tool dot equipped function to fire off. We will connect it to an anonymous function and we're going to get some variables like one for the player that we defined up top game dot players dot local player because this is a local script. We'll get the mouse from the player. Get mouse. Uh, let's get the char, the character. We'll say player dot character or player dot character added colon weight. So if the character is not ready, we will wait here until the character added event fires. Which will, and then we'll get this character, put it in that variable. That's pretty good. A little bit confusing, but you get so used to it, you don't even think of it anymore. It's like driving a stick shift. All right, now we're going to get the hum. This is for the person holding the banana. Let's get the humanoid because if we put the banana away, we want to be able to see through us again normally. So we'll say char, wait for child. Humanoid. So that's us, the, the banana holder. We will get our activated connection and then connect that to the tool. Activated event. Connect. 
an anonymous function, if mouse, if the mouse exists, well, I'm sure it will, but let's check. And if the mouse has a target, then view inspect mode, uh, we want to send the mouse dot target. That's going to become the thing. All right, what happens when we put the tool away? I'll go down here and we'll say tool dot unequipped connect that to an anonymous function and we'll get our activate activated connection and disconnect it save some resources and we'll get our camera dot camera subject and this is the hum of our player so when we put the banana away we don't have to worry about looking through whoever we were looking through right and then let's get the hum Make that nil again. We'll make the char nil again. We'll make the mouse nil again. And the player nil again. When we put it away. That looks pretty good. We need to put some things to look through in our world. So let's go back to our base plate. We got our banana. Should we put that in? Oh, we can leave it here. Let's go ahead and get a part. There's a part. And then let's go ahead. Avatar. Rig builder. Maybe an R6, people like R6. We'll do a block avatar, cool. I really think it's funny that they made an update on the rigs for the body colors, but the body colors will still get you in trouble because they are the natural body colors. That's all right, we're not gonna publish the game. All right, let's play it. All right, I'm in my world, I'm gonna view, output window, pick up the banana, no red, that's a good sign. We can make that bigger. Let's click on our part. Ah, cool. Let's click on our rig. Cool. All right, that's working pretty good. What happens if we click on ourself? Yeah, click on the spawn location. All right, we can, we can spectate. If I'm over here and I put the banana away, oh, I'm back, nice. All right, so now you have a banana of remote sight.